Luigi Bruca is building a fence around this 10 hectare plot so no harm will come to young fruit trees he and his fellow villagers have planted. If we leave it without a fence, the animals will come and damage them. And then we will have worked in vain. This land was once a forest, chopped down to make way for terraces of wheat. Wheat that didn't grow well, on land that later slid down the hill, clogging the reservoir whose water generates electricity. As part of a pilot project supported by the World Bank and others to regenerate forest land that prevents harmful carbon dioxide from being released in the atmosphere, neither Luigi nor his fellow villagers will be allowed to graze animals or to cut wood here for three years at least. Albania has a lot of land that was logged too much, used too hard and not cared for enough, with dire consequences. Albania has higher, uh, higher rate of erosion and uh, much higher than all other countries in Europe, or to say in, in, in figures, it's twice than all other European countries. That's why Albania is tackling its problem by planting more trees, leaving forests to rest, and putting a price tag on the carbon dioxide the trees and the land will store, up to $11 million. Albania had a lot of potential in this uh, area to attract also uh, the attention of investors to, to help Albania um, a forest state its degraded land, but also at the same time be able to uh, sequester uh, some carbon that would also uh, bring direct benefits to the communities that are part of this scheme. To calculate the value of the carbon emissions saved, Abdullah Diku and his colleagues measure trees in this forest that has been off limits for two years. He says giving communities user rights and involving them in land use discussions has helped the program. They are convinced that it's better to wait for three and four and probably five years in order to have more benefits than they are having bef before the project starts. Each community stands to receive just over $2,000 from the carbon sequestered. Some communities say they will spend it to fix schools or clinics. Others plan to put the money back into their forests, even if it takes time. The proof is on the ground. Within two years, 11 species of trees and shrubs have come back to life on this once barren hillside.